Are you jobless right now? Perhaps you've been looking for a job for some time now, but you still have not landed a job offer. Or perhaps you just recently resigned from a job and you're still in the process of looking for a new one. Or perhaps you've been laid off or even fired by your previous employer. And for some reason, several weeks since you've graduated from school or many months since you've been out of work, you're still jobless and you've lost the sense of urgency of trying to find a job. Let me offer some advice. The Apostle Paul wrote this in his letter to the Thessalonians. Aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we instructed you so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. Many of us have been conditioned to aspire for a dream job or pursue a career that will make us successful. That's fine. But if you're jobless for some time now because you think the available job opportunities don't, don't bring you closer to your dream job, or it will take you away from the career you really, really want, you may have ignored other opportunities that could allow you to earn some money. Paul advises us to work with your hands. There is always something that you can do, even if it is not related to what you studied in college or even if it may be totally different from your previous job. The important thing is that you make sure your hands are busy. You know, Paul himself earned a living even as he journeyed as a missionary for the gospel. He was a tent maker. He made tents for a living. Was that what he studied in school? No, of course not. He, he studied to become a lawyer, an expert in the religious laws of the Jewish people. But when he left the legal profession to become a missionary, he kept himself busy and earned his keep by working with his hands. So we can use our hands as well. We can lend out a hand as a temporary worker in an office, even for lesser pay. We can volunteer to work in a nonprofit organization and perhaps receive a, an allowance. We are not limited to just working with our hands, of course. We use whatever we have to earn our key. We can use our strength to do manual labor for a company that needs manual workers, even on a temporary basis. We can use our mouths and our ability to speak, perhaps, to, to, to represent a company and sell their products. There are many part-time selling jobs available out there. We can lend our minds as well and, and help do research, uh, write, or create ideas for companies that need these mind skills. Or you do not even have to leave home because there are also many online job opportunities. If we keep ourselves productive, even as we wait for better opportunities or for a job that is aligned to our chosen careers or one that will bring us closer to our dreams, we make sure that we, in the words of Paul, live properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. And as we strive to live a dignified life, as we remain productive and not be jobless, to honor the Lord. Always keep in mind, faith matters 